This is part two of a tally light build for vMix and using an Arduino board uh, to make that happen. In this video, I'm going to share just a couple things with you. Um, one will be how to load the firmware um, onto the Arduino board um, so that it will work with the with B mix and I'm going to give you my shopping list who says my wife is the only one that can have fun shopping so let's go shopping um, starting with this <coughs> excuse me this is a, um, a tripod mount screw that will will go on to the hot shoe adapter um, that is on um, on my cameras and uh, this is what I'll use to mount the tally light boxes onto the top of the camera now not all of my cameras and maybe some of yours don't have the hot shoe adapter then um, what I'm going to do is I've I'm going to order some velcro and on the opposite side of the box I'll flip the box um, around on the opposite side, and I use Velcro for those cameras. Um, these these boxes aren't going to be very heavy. Probably the heaviest thing on the box is is this piece right here, and that will then will be on the top. Um, so I've ordered five of these because I have five boxes. Um, probably should have ordered six because I can build six boxes with my Arduino board. Um, so and. Next, we have the resistors. Um, each box, uh, each tally light will have uh, three lights on it. And for every light that you have, you want to put one of these resistors on it. These are the resistors you need. I ordered the wrong resistors the first time. I didn't order um, strong enough resistors, and it wouldn't light the lights, those little LED lights. So what you need is a 220 ohm uh, resistor. That is a rated at a quarter watt. Um, you can click on this one um, on eBay in order, and you can see I uh, for a hundred of them, and I bought a hundred of them. They're only two fifty um, with five boxes at three lights, and I may put more. I, I you know I but I'm thinking just three lights at this point. Um, I needed fifteen of these, and, and in case I wanted to build some more boxes later, it was nice just to have these. They're not that expensive. Um, to have around and you solder them on each of your LED lights um, and it keeps them from burning out these are the LED lights this is a set I didn't buy this particular set um, my set didn't come with a fancy case like that I wish I had now as you try to keep all this stuff together I had to get a case to put mine in um, but anyhow they're not that expensive six dollars and you got 150 pieces uh, I don't have any of the blue lights or the clear ones but they look pretty cool I could have probably used those on the back side. <clears throat> the next thing that I have here, these are the actual boxes that I'll use. They're not real big, um, where I'll put the lights on. On <clears throat> what what I'm thinking about doing here, and I know this gets goes kind of go kind of gray right here, but on this end I'll I'll put that that adapter, the hot shoe adapter. On the opposite end is I'll put a piece of Velcro on that side. Um, my lights will go. My lights will actually go on the face of these. I'll put a, a green and a red on one side and maybe a red on the other side or a yellow. I don't know. But the green and red side will face the person who's looking into the camera. Um, so they'll know when, whenever it when lights red, they'll know that that's the live camera. The green means that that camera is on deck getting ready to go live. Um, on the back side, the yellow or the red will tell the camera operator that that camera is the one that's live and so it kind of lets both parties know what's going on with the cameras which cameras are live which cameras are on deck um, so not real expensive this was what 350 roughly for plus shipping so about six dollars for five of them and yes like they came from Hong Kong um, it took me about two weeks to get them not real long it wasn't real bad <clears throat> the next thing that I have here <clears throat> excuse me is the uh, other plastic boxes I ordered these for another project for my pan and tilt project but this is 
box is the box that I have I'm and you'll see it I'm going to actually put my Arduino board in this this board right here will fit in that um, and so that will get mounted in this box on this end here I on this end I'll probably drill a hole for the uh, the USB cord that has to that has to go um, to your computer on the opposite end I'll put a, a RJ45 jack which is the female jack where you so you can plug your Ethernet cables into it and so that will be and from this box then I will go to a a uh, Ethernet hub or switch um, that, that's an eight I bought an eight port I'm gonna you'll be seeing that in a minute in a minute here's a an uno um, our Arduino Uno, it comes with a cord. You want to make sure you get one that has a USB co cord. This particular one comes with header pins. That's those black pins there. Those are needed because you'll solder your wires to that and then put those into the into the pins there in the board. Now mine didn't come with pins. I, I just assumed because I've ordered these before that, that they always came with the header pins. They don't. So make sure you get them with header pins. It helps you out. Um, I have some generic header pins that I'll that I'll use, and so I'm not in a bad way. Um, but it was nice. The the ones that are for it is not is usually a lot better. Anyhow, and as you saw, that was only about six dollars plus shipping. This is I actually had ordered two of these, one for my church, but uh, for the tally light, what I plan to do is come out of the other box with an Ethernet cable, go into port one. Um, which is the in port, and then I have set, uh, the other ports will feed the lines then from my my box, my main box, to the to the actual lights, and um, that gives me enough for eight cameras or eight lights that go onto the cameras, and if I want to build more, so I'll leave some expansion room there. But this is how I then I, I divide it up and send it out to each different camera. And I'm going to make my own uh, Ethernet cables. Um, I've done it before, and they're not hard. This is the RJ45s. Um, I super glue these on the bottom, right, right to, um, right, right about there. I super glue those right on to the plastic. I cut out for them, so those stick out on one end. And uh, right here is where you punch down the Ethernet cable wires. You strip them and you you put them, put them in each one. They're color coded as you can see. All the different wires, the uh, the brown and the brown and white, or the blue and the blue and white. And so you you know where they go. And I and the reason I like using the Ethernet cables um, is because there's eight wires in there. They're color coded already for you. You know, so when you get on the other end, you know what you've done with them. And so out of my Arduino board into this, and then from this, um, we'll, we'll take it to the lights, and then I'll have one of these in each light as well. So you got to have one in the box that goes to, for the Arduino board, um, and then you got to have one in each of the light boxes, um, and then you then you can. And it makes it really handy because if you're like on location, if you're trying to shoot on location with multiple cameras, then you just get longer or shorter cords. And you you still know what's going on that kind of thing and let you it gives you some flexibility I like it and it's a way to go so that's what I'm going to do with that this one is just the bulk cable I put through this on here I think I paid thirty two dollars for mine for a thousand feet it's not hard if you're if you're interested in making your own there's a there's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to make Ethernet cables and put and terminate them put ends on them. Fancy word for for putting ends on them, um, and and it's not hard. I, I I build my own. It's it's really not that difficult. Um, I have a tester for it too. So, uh, or you can buy them. You can just go down to the store and buy some. Um, but I find this way cheaper. Plus, <clears throat> if I'm out on it, I have to do a shoot, and I was on location, and I need something longer. Uh, you know, this is a whole lot cheaper um, than buying a and and splicing together two 20 foot Ethernet cables. Um, oh, I still have this to order. This is the Velcro. It's $1.29 for three foot. That would be more than enough to do this project. The thing that I don't have on here is the, you know, you're going to need some super glue. And then I don't have a list of tools. 
uh, you'll see me using some tools you're going to definitely need a drill um, a drill motor and, and some drill bits I have a drill press um, I like using that <laughs> but you know that's not necessary just a drill motor will do it and because uh, you got to drill some holes for the LED lights and uh, I got to drill a, a larger hole for my USB cable for where I, the Arduino for that project box and uh, let's talk now about <clears throat> setting up your Arduino what we have is this Arduino right here <coughs> and by the way the hole that I have to drill my project box is so that this cable can come in it come into it but um, <clears throat> we what you've got to do is you've got to load firmware these Arduino boards are really nice because you can do so much with them they are shareware programming and uh, the chips in them and so you can do so much with them I have a couple of them that I use for panning and tilting cameras um, totally different some guys use them for putting CNC machines together you can do I mean there's just kind of a, a ton of stuff you can do with these these are really sweet um, but anyhow what VMAX has done is they have uh, some of the firmware and they've worked with it and set it up and worked sweet with it and I need to show you how then to load that firmware onto this board. So you'll plug this in and you plug it into your computer. Um, then you'll want to go to, um, let me call this up. You want to go to Arduino's website, www.arduino.cc. Um, then when you get there, you'll, you'll be on the home page, but I have the download page up. Mostly because... Uh, the fact that I am recording this on the same computer that I'm showing you and so it's just a little on the slow side uh, once once I get the download wait I have a Windows 7 machine I downloaded the Windows installer it came up down here it loads up down here for me your yours may be a little bit different um, and if you're using a, a Mac it has the Mac version right there for Arduino boards and you once you get it downloaded then go ahead and double click on it for Windows users and install the software once it's installed let me go to my desktop <clears throat> once it's installed it should have an icon this icon right here you double click it and what comes up is the the Arduino software um, that, so that you can start loading or writing you can write your own you know, program your Arduino boards okay for this project it's really sweet because there's a firmware already written you don't even have to write code so that's that's really cool I like that because writing code took me some time with my other projects what you got to do <clears throat> is you get this loaded and once you have it loaded then the next thing you want to do is you've got to figure out on your computer what com uh, your computer assigned the Arduino USB uh, for the Arduino board so what you got to do is you want to go to your control panel um, wherever it is on on yours um, and, and I have this one opened up so you open up your control panel go to uh, system and security um, at least with Windows 7 uh, Windows 8 is going to be a little bit different but what you, um, once you do that what you're actually looking for is you're looking for the device manager and when you get the device manager this may not be expanded this tree may not be ex expanded it may even be like this um, my name's Carl of course and this so this is Carl PC you expand the tree if it's not expanded you're looking what you're looking for is the ports um, I clicked on my expand my ports and then you see right here it says Arduino Uno and then it tells me right there what com it's on you need to know uh, because it's not just automatically going to be on COM4 for you. You need to know what COM um, your computer has assigned the Arduino board. Once you know what COM it is, you can write it down if you're afraid you won't remember it. But once you know what COM it is, then you can come back. And see, that's important, like I showed you in the last video, that's important even with vMix. When you're signing it, you go to COM4, and you saw me in COM4 signing the different things. But you also be to be able to load to the Arduino um, Uno board. You also need to know what Comet is. So once once you know what Comet is, I'm, this might be confusing. I'll I'll minimize these now. We know that it's Com4. 
once you know what Comet is, you want to come up here to Tools, I believe it is. Yep. On Tools, you come down to Arduino board, uh, the board that you have. And mine has Arduino there, but you have the different types of boards. You make sure you, you, slick, you select the Arduino Uno. And then once you do, um, that's what takes place. Um, I come back. And then to Tools. And on port, and, and of course I've already got it selected, you come to the ports and you come over here, you serial ports, and you select the COM4. You've got you to gotta tell the software what COM you're working with as well. So you have to select COM4. Now I didn't do this first time, and I got this to work on my wife's compute, computer and couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong on, she had Windows 8. Um, and I had Windows 7, and I was, the, f the first time I worked with Arduino boards, I was actually had, I was using her computer, I kept begging her computer, honey, can I use your computer for a while, so, but, it, but this is what happened, is I didn't tell this software that I was on COM4, now I can use my own computer, and she's happy, the whole house is happy when we get our own laptops, so, once you have that, um, the last thing you have to do, and it's really, what I love about this this particular project is is that you really you don't have to write code all you got to do is load the code um, because um, Arduino and vMix has already kind of worked this thing out for us so that's pretty nice so if you come back to sketch I think it is yes if you go to sketch and you come down to include library and when you go to conclude library, you come down here, and what you're looking for is the Fermata, F-I-R-M-A-T-A, -A, Fermata. That's the firmware that you need for vMix and Arduino to cooperate, and is what you. And so you click on that, you click on that, it will load up. I already have it loaded. That's what you're seeing right here. This is the area where you write your code. But Fermata already has all the code you need. You just need to load it in here. You can come up here and you can verify it, and it will go through and verify. And uh, if I do that, it takes it takes a while, so I don't want to spend the time on trying to keep this video short. You can verify it. Once you verify it, the very next icon right here, and as you can see, it says upload over on this side. You click on that. You it will upload. Provided you have your Arduino board, USB, all connected and plugged in, you got the comms found, then it will upload this Fermata firmware onto your Arduino board. It uploads it right to this board. Um, once it says, I'll come back to this, once it says down here, uh, done, it will say upload complete, and uh, it might even say that it um, uploaded correctly or something like that. It'll give you some kind of affirming that it was okay, the upload was good. Uh, once you get that, you're you're good to go. You've got your Arduino board set up. So it's really not that hard. Once you've got that set up, you can, uh, you might want to use your uh, a breadboard uh, you, if you've got one around. Otherwise, I've already done that for you. I've done the testing. And uh, so the next step then is to start taking this and putting all this stuff together and do the wiring and so there's a little bit of soldering that kind of thing. So it's n it's going to be a lot of fun. My next video, um, I'll start putting the pieces together. So, but for this video, um, I hope that this helps you. And if you liked it, click on like. Um, if you want to know when I get the other videos on, you want to get a, a message, if you uh, subscribe to my, my channel, it will tell you that I've uploaded. Um, that's going to take me a while to build, and I need to also record that build. And uh, Anyhow, thank you for viewing.